Hi there, welcome to S World Villa Secrets and S Web CDS, the content delivery system. 15 different systems based around our content delivery system. Starting with Villa Secrets and how we can create full websites for real estate agents, rental companies, safari specialists, tour operators and travel agents. Number two, Villa Owners, how we can do much the same for Villa Owners so they can make money from their overflow. Number three, Property Managers, again the same concept for, for full property managers. Number four, S Web Publishing creates online magazines in minutes, not hours or even days. Agents can create their own magazines, so making themselves seem more knowledgeable and indeed become more knowledgeable. And lastly, as a part of number four, S Web Publishing, we can create PDFs that can be made into coffee table magazines. Number five, newsletters. When we make the magazine pages or individual villa pages. They can be created as newsletters and sent out. Six, social network posting does much the same thing, but for social networks. Number seven, my list, my web page gives clients the opportunity to make web pages from their favorites lists and then distribute them to their friends, partners, bosses, etc. Number eight, my website, my client suite is much the same thing, but taking that one web page idea, creating it into various web pages for different subjects and adding admin tools and all sorts of things that uh, one would want to see about their holiday. Number nine, my holiday planner. Particularly useful for safaris, multi-leg holidays or people who want to uh, do a lot of activities, all combined into one simple tool. Number 10, sales tools, very powerful part of this, lets agents create the perfect pitch to clients in minutes as an exceptionally well presented web page. Number 11, the disruptive CRM, SWeb CDS creates the platform for the evolution of CRNs from glorified email monitoring to fully integrated systems. Number 12, the TBS, Total Business Systems, AI, leads clients to their web page after inquiry and automates email responses and can, in essence, become a virtual agent. Number 13, GDS PMS, that's Global Distribution Systems, Property Management Systems, Connectivity, connects to inventory systems, providing availability search and online bookings for villas, safaris, hotels, and other services, which used in com combination with 12, the TBS can again create bookings without a salesperson being involved. Number 14, bespoke auto content. Now that's a continuation of number 13, but for prop properties or venues that are not on distribution systems, bulk emails sent to them with the option to yes or no reply to a, uh, say we offering a thousand dollars a day, 14 nights, there's a quick yes, I'll take it button. All of the bespoke take it buttons. Sorry, all of the venues who click will take that offer. That offer then gets presented to the client and it can go back and forwards Airbnb style between the client and the system. Lastly, number 15 is public systems. When we take S Web CDS and make it for public use so people can create their own websites for free uh, and we can potentially link it to Facebook and LinkedIn and others business pages just so as people uh, are using the system already and then from that system there'll be the option to book travel and then they'll come so that brings more clients through okay so for each of these systems let's just go to word this isn't a, a, a fully professional presentation we're just skipping between some documents Photoshop and the website 
here we can see I've given a percentage to each of those systems. Now, what does this percentage mean? It is either an increase in inquiries from the website. So, for instance, if one has one in 20 visitors to the website make an inquiry, one would try and cut that to one in 10, then one in five. OK, the opportunity to make bookings in the case of companies without a website or very minimal websites, we provide the opportunity to make bookings. Increase in salespersons closing, say, for instance, a average salesperson had a one in five closure rate. We look to improve that to one in four, one in three, one in two. OK, let's go through these systems one by one. Number one, number two, and number three are all really the same idea. And note, when we get to this minimum 101% improvement, that does not include these together. This only includes one 15. If you add 15 to the rest of these low numbers, one comes to 101, not adding three together. OK, so first of all, Let's have a look at the website. Here it is. And this is the home page. Villasecrets.com. And lower down. Very beautiful, well laid out magazine website. OK, one can hunt different destinations. Here we can see the best of Africa. And as far as we know, there's no other website that does a best of Africa, not in this, not in this level of detail or beauty. Um, the individual web pages are designed to be like the average person's homepage, or in fact, better than the average person's homepage. Does all this. goes through, and we go down, very well presented, very clear, beautiful animations. And this is just one web page. And we know the owners love these web pages and the guests love these web pages. OK, so oh, there's also the magazine, but we'll get to that later. Right, so the first stat we have is 15% to 100%. Now, obviously, everything is relative. If someone already has a very nice website, then we would say ours might be a little bit better and certainly is a lot better in terms of system integration. So at the, at, at the, at the worst, one's going to be making about a 15% improvement, particularly because those actual product pages are so much more impressive than others. In fact, let's let's take a real life example with two websites that I also own. Capevillas.com started this in 2002 after making the first rental in 1999 and realizing there was a market for it. And it's quite nice on the home page. But when we get into the product pages, we're looking at this versus this. And, you know, <laughs> there's, there's such a gulf in difference. And let's have a look at uh, Cape Town Luxury Villas, which was done in 2014, which at the time seemed to be very, uh, very with it. But now, you know, much like Cape Villas seems dated. Let's have a look at the Cape Villas Villa page. You know, there's, there's not a lot to look at here. Whereas, sorry, if we look at a Villa Secrets Villa page, it's very beautiful. And as we go down. So we're saying that these high figures here is for a company like Kate Villas, who has a website that really is letting it down, letting it down. 
And just to note that uh, within two months, we are updating Cape Villas to this new web framework. So it will look as beautiful as it does. And you know, then we can actually test to see, you know, how, how much do, do the inquiries go up by. Okay, so the bottom end, 15, but it can go up to a lot more. Just another note, I've stopped at 100% as opposed to going higher. Obviously, you know, if, if one is starting from a position where one doesn't have a website, like, in fact, let's move on to the next one. Let's move on to villa owners' websites. Again, same percentage can be made. If a villa owner doesn't have a website at all, um, then obviously having a website like this would be to their advantage. Now, the other thing about villa owners is they get a lot of bookings, booking requests, especially the, the top villas. They might get 15 requests for Christmas and New Year at $100,000, but they can only book it once. What are they doing with their other requests? None of them. I mean, here's a good example. This actual island, I spoke to them about a year ago about creating them a website so they can make money from their overflow. If someone wants to book it, any time that's already booked, they'll say, no, but we can put you in somewhere else. And that could technically make as much money as the venue makes again, which is a significant amount. Same again for property managers. Okay, let's move on to number four, S-Web CDS Publishing. Create an online magazine in minutes, not hours or days. Okay, so let's go to the, uh, I need to log in. I need to go to articles. Okay, and if I were to click create a new page, I'm not going to do it because I don't actually want to create a new page now. Here's one I did last week. Actually, sorry, that's the wrong page. Here we go. One needs to put in name, short title, longer title, short description, longer description, and that's it. One then adds the uh, IDs, and this one was actually done in 57 seconds. Now, this creates this magazine article and you can see it's got the slider that's made automatically because it pulls in the content and that's really describing why it's a content delivery network. We have made this content already. Now we're making it very easy for web designers to create magazine pages and for agents to send it out, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And we can see here is the text. And yes, sure, this text here takes about 10 minutes to write, not denying that. But the rest of it is pulled in automatically. And from the magazine, it goes directly into the villa, or in this case, Safari Villa pages. You know, a great way to deliver content and made in 57 seconds plus that 10 minutes it took to write those few lines of content at the top, 60 words and I think uh, 160 characters. Now, not only can we make magazine articles in minutes, not hours, or days, agents can make their own magazines. So let's have a look at the, the magazine page. We just click on here. This is magazine. Now, this could easily be an agent's own magazine. Instead of it being Kate Villas slash magazine, it would be Kate Villas magazine slash the agent's name. And what that does is it, uh, 
it teaches the agent one they'll, they'll, they'll make their their magazine beautiful but it also makes them look a lot more professional to the clients if the client can look at the agent's own magazine pages the clients like mm, you know the other guys aren't doing anything like this so that's a, that's an advantage um, another huge advantage is that we can turn these into PDFs and indeed we are creating a system to make a complete printed magazine now, if one does a, we did this, sorry, let's just first go back. We did this in 2019. We distributed magazine with Condé Nast Traveler, did very well. And it really got us a lot of mandates and one single booking that was by far the biggest booking we'd ever done. However, that was quite expensive. But to make a short run of about 5,000 isn't that much money. Um, and what one does with that is one maybe allocates 500 to being hand delivered to all the beautiful villas in the area to try and get more mandates. Plus one gives it to a postage service. So as, as soon as an inquiry comes in, we capture the guest's address and an email is posted to them. The first 24 to 48 hours in a booking cycle is the most important because that is the point when the client is going to decide between Airbnb, home away, whatever else they they can go to, agent sites or your site. If you're coming to a client with beautiful magazines posted through their door, on top of all the other advantages, that client is more often going to slip our way than anybody else's. Just to uh, get back to this minutes, not hours, not days, I want to show you where, how we, how we came about. Sorry, where is it? There it is. The blog page. This is what we did about a year ago. Made a blog. This is in WordPress. Now, our main website is our own, but this blog is a WordPress blog. And we can see here, if we click on a, on a property, we can see that it's very similar to what, uh, and you can see there's coding errors already happened, and that's the trouble with WordPress. It's not 100% stable. And, you know, it's, it's not quite as nice as we, 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 we're doing now, but it's, it's a nice page. The thing is, though, this page and the other pages like it literally took four days. We're talking the time of the copywriter the time of the organizing, just getting the materials, the time Photoshop, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. By the time all that was done, we're talking about 32 hours, 8, 16, 24, 32, four days work. Whereas now we're creating magazine articles in minutes. So it's minutes, not days. Right, moving on. Newsletters, well, that's pretty simple. Um, actually, hang on, let me just go back and look at this percentages. I said I'd talk about that. So the publishing makes a difference between 10 and 100%. 10% being uh, the, the advantages of having the magazine, the advantages of the agent having their own magazine, to 100% being getting that magazine, printed magazine, through the doors on mandate targets and being sent to guests. Newsletters between 5 and 20%. Now, people are talking a lot about newsletters and they're getting more and more popular, but, you know, the, the more popular it gets, the more emails everyone's going to get and the sooner people are going to get tired and click unsubscribe. You know, we're not looking to try and get a few hits to some poor guy who wasn't really expecting it. We're producing beautiful content, as we have seen, and sending them to newsletters and hoping that it catches. I, I, I get newsletters from luxury retreats uh, who are the leaders in this market. And, you know, they're beautifully done and the content's good. So I don't mind getting them. That's the, that's the goal. So... We're going to move on now to social network posts. 
this is when the newsletter made from publishing our magazine pages gets turned into social network posts and gets automatically posted. It's got to have an advantage. Social networks, if he goes to enough of them and people start sending them on, there's the opportunity to get more inquiries. And, you know, 5% to 15%, the smallest advantage. Actually, no, the smallest one is this one here, my list, my web page. Now, that's not because my list, my web page is, uh, is not as good an idea. It's because not that many clients will necessarily find it. Um, let me just, where are we? My list, my web page. Okay, client clicks on my list, my favorites. And we will be making this a much uh, a menu option like one of these, so it's more obvious. And the client can, you know, move their list around. The client can see it in magazine view. And the client can make their own web page, publish it, and there you go. They can send that to their friends. And they can send it to their loved ones, etc. their boss. Okay. My website, my client suite, is an extension on my web page. Instead of having one web page, we make them a website. So as they have the option of different lists, uh, maybe a list for safaris, a list for uh, villas, a list for flights, you know. Um, they can make lists for their friends. They can make lists for other people in the group. Plus, well, that's no, that that's the that's the idea there. That's oh, sorry. Where are we? We're on number seven or number eight. We're on number eight. Okay. Plus the client suite um, puts all the admin available to them. So when a villa gets booked, has the money come through yet, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. All of that in the client suite. Number nine, my holiday planner adds inventories and comparisons and many more things. Here we would throw in the options to have flights, concierge, um, book uh, car hire, plus itineraries. Now itineraries, particularly in um, safaris, are absolutely essential because... Example, if one goes to Kruger Park and one sort of just looks at a map and go, well, I want to go from that safari to that safari that are only five miles apart. The actual distance to travel by car might be hundreds of miles, literally, as they would have to go all the way from one miles down to the main path. But even then, it's not, no, it's not, it's not like a motorway or anything. It's in the middle of uh, middle of middle of the jungle <laughs> and yeah look the idea being that safaris especially if there's quite a few of them is a specialist field and the holiday planner can make it so that guests and villa agents or hotel agents can move to safaris book with confidence okay number 10 let's sorry let's just give a little Little look at these percentages. Um, as I've said, the reason for the low percentages here is because people are not necessarily going to find it. Um, those that do find it will find it absolutely essential. And, uh, and of course, they don't have to find it. They have to, if they inquire, we will let them be, make it, make them aware of it. And we will talk about this in in number 10. Um, and just to note here, this 100% for my holiday planner would be for upgrading to safaris. And one can make a lot more money from the safari bookings than the villa bookings. That's something we learned quite a few years ago. Okay, moving to number 10, S-Web sales tools. And I'm gonna try and demo this. Let me see. Um, if I was a sales agent so I started here I would go to destinations best of Africa and I would 
add some villas to my list. In fact, I just removed them from my list, so I'm going to re-add them. No, so I'm also going to add some magazine articles to make the inquiry really interesting. Okay, then I go to my list. And as before, I can move them around. I can see it as a magazine view. And I can this time make a web page, not for me, but for my clients. I can go down here. I can quickly add some auto content and click send. And that will create this page and send it as an email that the client can quickly look at and add comments to. And this becomes how the, uh, the booking is, is handled. OK. And we previously looked at this, and we have decided that it will make between 20 and a 65% difference. OK, the disruptive CRM. CRM, Customer Relationship Management. Now, this has been something I've been looking to do for quite a while. And the, the one problem was that it was so... If all the CRMs that I know, all based around emails and just organizing one better and tools that work from data that's put in. This CRM starts with the inquiry process. All the information is put into the system immediately. And as we've seen, the most of the inquiry process happens on the website, not email back and forwards. So it's, it's an integrated system, and it's much more efficient because it's an integrated system. And we're going to go quite a long way with this. This isn't just a system for Villa Secrets. This is a system that is... You know, no one has done this before. No one has done it this way, uh, which means we're not going to get any patent issues. And um, I think the point is, is, the CRM, it's not a CRM. And all of these systems are not things that you plug in. You don't go to MailChimp to plug in this and Salesforce to plug in that. And, you know, another company to do auto social network posting is all a part of one system. And because it's all a part of a one system, it's incredibly, it's incredibly more efficient. Okay, let's just have a get back to our percentages. CRM will make between 10 and 50% difference. 10% if a salesperson uses it a little bit, 50% if they use it an awful lot. Okay, so number 12, the TBSAI, that's Total Business Systems, which we're looking at later, AI, Artificial Intelligence. Uh, the first thing we're doing with the TBSAI is as soon as the client has clicked Inquire and filled in their information, we then lead him to their own web page, which we've seen, and from which he can start putting comments on or moving choices up and down and adding to it. Now, that's keeping that client uh, satisfied. One big problem with Villa Rentals that I've seen in every company that I've run and every company that everyone else has run, maybe not the big ones like uh, Luxury Retreats, is, you know, people are busy and it's quite a specialist field. And sometimes it takes hours or if it's at the weekend, days before we get back to the client. The TBSAI provides the client with a page that is, is clever. It's presenting the, the villas in, in, a, in a good way, in the same way that the sales agent would send to them. So we're really taking that step as it's, it's like an autoresponder, but it happens immediately. Plus, of course, if they then switch off and don't go, go, don't, don't go further with that uh, page, we can immediately send them an email which presents with automatically. So there's a lot of, you know, stuff that goes on, but it does rely on systems 13 and 14 
to be more effective. Now, GDS and PMS, that's Global Distribution System, sorry, we're on 13, and Property Management System co Connectivity. We are already connected to the biggest PMS in Cape Town, um, and we're connecting to another one in Cape Town very soon. And the idea is we're going to connect to every system there is. And people are going to start adding their own systems, uh, their own inventory to our systems. Once this makes the TBS AI and the sales tools a lot more effective because a salesperson can just do a quick search and only send the options that are available or the TBS AI can say to the automatically send to the client all the options that are available with book now options. If the client is in a rush, they've seen what they want and they want to book it, they can book it there and then. Okay, let's go to number 14, system number 14. In fact, before I do that, let's have a brief recap on the percentages. TBS AI, obviously, if that's making bookings automatically, that's going to make a, a big difference. It's being able to auto respond minutes after the inquiry keeps that guest with us. The guest isn't necessarily going to know that it hasn't come from a human because it doesn't. It looks like it's come from a human. Um, it's, plus, it's got the book now option, so that's got a huge potential. The GDS. PMS and other inventory databases also help. The more databases we're connected to, the higher the effect. Okay, let's get back to system 14, Bestoke Auto Content. Now, this is kind of like an Airbnb vibe where the guest can speak to the client when the client but when the client's sister uh, property is not on a GDS or a PMS, i.e. it's not, there's no online availability for it. The only way is to speak to the guest uh, in, directly. And that's, that's, that, that's that system. Also a bulk content. So if, um, say, we've done a search for Christmas and New Year and there's really only one or two options available from online systems and they're not you know it's it's not winning it's not uh, you know the agent knows well you know they're not they're not the best properties there's likely to be hundreds avail not not available but potentially available and we drill down and we send all of those emails saying We've got a booking request for 14 nights, $2,000 a day. Do you want to take this booking? And if the client, sorry, if the, the property owner clicks, yes, I'll take it, that automatically adds it to the client's list and, and the salesperson's list. Okay. Very, very useful and very, very simple to make, actually. Uh, last of all, are uh, public systems and this is just where we're going to be taking sweb cds there's a lot more than bit of secrets to s world but we're not gonna i'm not gonna go into that here but i will say that we will be creating public systems websites for the public so as they just start using our websites for their own websites or maybe they're using it for their own um administration or itineraries, whatever. We'll be making beautiful websites for people. We're probably going to make them free just so as people start using our system a lot. And obviously, once they're using our system, they can pull in information from any other person who uses the system. One, And that will start to drive traffic towards our, our, our companies. OK. Um, this, is, this has been S-Web CDS Content Delivery System. My name is Nick Raven-Ball, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much.